why why do you want to fast why do you want to lose weight fasting is not healthy you're starving yourself <laughs> but if hair loss bothers you more than your fat loss bothers you then it's something to consider hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so far for subscribing if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe because i will be doing more updates and today's video is about the most asked questions about fasting in the comment sections i realized like people have so many questions and they're like repeated questions i did answer them but i also i decided to um do a dedicated video on the most asked questions about fasting so that you can easily find them and even if it's a question that you did not think about you will already see the video and that will help so so far if you're fasting i hope your fasting is going well i'm sending you good vibes so that you can keep at your goal and maintain the focus so that you can achieve your results wishing you all the best so my most asked question number one this is not even a question it's bashing <laughs> you will gain the weight all back i hear that a lot and that statement is true and it's false it's true because if you do not change your eating habits because fasting is not a diet fasting is a lifestyle if you cannot change your habits to reflect your new lifestyle then of course you will gain the weight back and it's the statement is not true because if you change your uh, eating habits and social habits no eating habits if you change your eating habits how are you gonna gain the weight back so say you stop eating carbs uh like and processed food you're going to eat healthy carbs and not the processed carbs right and you stop eating processed sugar and say you get your sugars from like natural things like fruits and your carbs also come from like fruits and like natural foods where are you gonna gain the weight from say you also instead of like you know sitting around all day you dedicate to going to the gym and change your laziness not really laziness but you change your you, you become active say you become active and you're eating healthy where are you gonna gain the weight from you tell me so fasting is a lifestyle meant to uh you know heal you number one if you haven't read on autophagy you should read on that the, like the healing powers of, of autophagy your body is going to get healed so that you can start afresh it's like hitting factory resets you know and then you're going to start afresh if you're going to fast to lose weight are you really going to indulge in like fast foods like you know why would you do that to yourself what was the point of fasting to begin with right so i highly say this is this statement is more false than it is true because no one in their right mind will make that sacrifice to fast and then go back and and do all those benefits they got like you even get scared to look at bad food that is me like if somebody passes around me with pizza I get scared but then i remind myself you know i'm not in prison so i remind myself you know i can have a piece but i'm going to like make sure i'm not like constantly having pieces of pizza right so that statement is is not uh true do not fall for that it's not going to happen you're not going to lose all the weight back number two fasting is not healthy you're starving yourself <laughs> i'm sorry because i'm doing like this sound effects but it's the only way that i that's how i read the comments when i see all these things that's like how i imagine that person is typing them fasting is not healthy why are you depriving yourself of uh food you're starving yourself it is not healthy <laughs> oh god yeah uh starving yourself if you have all that fat in your body you know if you're skinny and that you're at your bmi and you do not have fat stored in your body then fasting is not for you right but even so those people also they fast for other reasons but they consult with the doctors and they make sure that they're like doing the right thing with the help from the doctors right but if you have if you're fat i'm sorry to say that because i was fat too if you're fat you're fasting and your body switches from using uh sugar sugar energy which is converted from the carbohydrates you eat and your body starts using stored fats 
for energy because you when you're fasting you're equally energetic as when you're eating actually even more energetic because some people even lose some sleep because they're like like their body is too active because of all that energy from the fat so how are you starving yourself I come from a country where some areas of the country have no food and people are actually starving. I know what starving is, but choosing to fast to correct things uh, and reset your body is not starving yourself. If you still have fat in your body uh, to burn while you're fasting, then you're not starving yourself. Because if you don't have fat to burn for energy while you're fasting, your body is going to break down muscle and you will know it. So when you're like, starving you will know it and your body will communicate like your body will tell you even when you're fasting your body will tell you it's time to stop because like last time when i did the 68 days fast i all of a sudden got nauseated and i was like uh getting runs out of nowhere like you know my body communicated and i listened and i and i broke the fast because i was aiming for 100 days and my body in between said no judy it's uh, it's time to break this fast and i listened and i i i uh, broke the fast so no uh fasting is not starving yourself if you're fat you have fat in your body you're not starving yourself misconception another question you drink only water how can you do that <laughs> uh, like i said in the previous question if you have energy in your body which is being generated from the fast from the fat stored in your body then you can actually just drink water but again i'm not drinking only water yes i'm drinking only water but i also need the electrolytes which are essential this um these electrolytes help in running your body normal function of your body so you need electric so yes i'm drinking only water but actually i'm not drinking only water you also need the electrolytes uh, this uh, somebody also asked me how many liters of water i drink in a day I, i'm sorry like i do personally i do not believe in like oh you have to drink what is that your your weight your weight times like half of your i don't know what that thing is so personally i just drink water when i am thirsty I mean your body is telling you you're thirsty drink water so i'm thirsty i drink water i don't have like a big jug of water that i say oh i have to finish this right and um because you can tell like there's some foods you eat like say you eat fruits you're not gonna get thirsty after that unless like they have high sugar content then your body's gonna ask for water so it can dilute that sugar or if you're eating like carbs then your body's gonna require a lot of water say you had like uh forced yourself to drink a gallon of water and then you just ate carbs and then your body's asking for more water are you gonna say like no i'm not gonna drink water because i already finished my gallon a day of water so i don't i do not believe in that i just drink water when i am thirsty but is it good to drink water every day yes you can you, sh you should drink water every day but i do not overdo it i do not have a set goal that all oh, i have to do this and uh this takes me to uh the other question like i talked about electrolytes in this question so this brings me to the electrolytes question i noticed that some people don't know what electrolytes are so electrolytes are basically the elements the minerals your body needs for normal function like your heartbeat needs like your heart needs to still pump blood and stuff like that you know you can look it up i'm not the best person to explain it but the electrolytes you need are like um a sodium uh sodium potassium magnesium those are like the most important electrolytes that you need for normal functioning of your body i'm going to do a dedicated video on how to do electrolytes so that you can quickly find it instead of going through this video which has like a lot of uh questions so i will do that and if you have any more questions around electrolytes uh please ask me and then i'll tell you so quickly again i've mentioned the electrolytes but if you don't like the, the taste of salts you can order capsule electrolytes and that's what i always use and it has made my life so much easy moving from the electrolytes it's gonna send us to that question sends us to the supplements i take during fasts if you're gonna take supplements during your fasts make sure the ingredients uh, do not contain things that will uh, break your fast because I know some some supplements they use like rice rice powder is it rice powder or rice flour like they use some things to fill the capsule and if if say you took a supplement that had rice in it rice powder in it that's definitely gonna break your fast right 
so you have to make sure it's like pure supplements that you're taking uh, so for supplements I have actually a video that I have talked about uh, this supplement I will attach it uh, in the description so that you can see all the su supplements that I take and where I get them from. I wanted to mention apart from the electrolytes which are essential, if you're doing prolonged fasting, I believe you need to take the vitamin B complex supplements. And again, make sure it does not, the, the brand you're using does not contain ingredients that will break your fast. Another question I get is, do I work out during fast? I, um, I recently, like yesterday, completed an 11 day fast and I tried working out on those days but I got uh, weaker and weaker so I decided to stop but I I wanted to see what happens when I do I, I actually I can't say that I got weaker or weaker it's like the motivation was not there I've mentioned time and again that when I'm doing one thing I like to concentrate on that one thing but I pushed myself to still go and work out so I can see like if I can still work out and do that. So I did work out this time, but usually I do not work out. This time I worked out because of curiosity. And I would, after that, like just go sit in the sauna and like, you know, sweat and meditate. And I would feel like so much better. So no, usually I do not work out, but this time I wanted to experiment and I was able to work out. So yeah, if you want to work out, you can work out. That will give you faster results, right? You're, gonna, you're going to lose weight faster. Hair loss. This is a big one. When I fasted the 68 days, I was taking a supplement by Nutrialign. And again, check my supplement video because it's it's there. I was taking that during the times I was fasting and I did not experience hair loss. But I stopped taking that supplement as soon as I finished fasting. You know, like you put things away because uh, I also put my electrolytes away. I believe I should not have done that. I should have kept taking the hair defense supplement. So after that, I, I saw a lot of hair loss, like even along my hairline, I saw a lot of loss. Now, does that bother me? It bothered me for a little bit, but then I looked at the bigger picture. Would I rather have a full head of hair and uh, fat? And at that time, I decided that it was a worthy uh, sacrifice that I made, and I am not bothered anymore. And my hair, my natural hair is long, and it's not, and it's in its natural state. So taking care of it, it's actually hard for me, and I haven't worn my natural hair in a long time so i don't even usually wear my natural hair so it's not always in my face that i lost hair so i'm, I'm actually okay with it because i'm always wearing wigs so it's not bothering me but if hair loss bothers you more than your fat loss bothers you then it's something to consider but personally i i don't mind i don't mind losing weight was more important to me and my body image and my confidence and my self-esteem was more important to me takes us to the next question loose skin i do not have loose skin if anything my skin tightened when i did the fast uh the 68 days fast my skin can i say i would feel my skin tightening but not like physically feel it but i I saw changes in my skin throughout the fast like my skin would get like a little a little wrinkly and then after that there'd be like uh, skin falling off like there was um, my skin was being renewed so I constantly had to like exfoliate a lot so with the new skin I I felt like it came out younger and more youthful and plump and supple and it was like really good skin coming out and i did not experience any loose skin i can show you my tummy this is tmi should i show you my tummy should i i do not have loose skin i had a fat tummy so this is how it looks like i don't see any loose skin it's not even wrinkly it's like as though that's how I've always been. So no, no loose skin. When you lose weight through fasting, there's again autophagy, which like renews the cells 
it's called cell recycle it re reuses its own cells and um, eats up the old cells which helps you remain youthful because there's no old cells right so no there's no loose skin what do i eat when i start eating i've talked about this before but i'm going to do a dedicated video specifically for what i eat after my fasts and how i maintain my weight loss it's a big topic to talk about like in this uh video so i'm going to do a, a video on what i eat and if you have more questions about this uh please post in the comment section so that i can see it before i make the video but if you need if you quickly need an answer on my previous update on how to maintain weight loss i have talked about that and i've shown pictures of uh what i eat and i've even shown how i prepare some of those meals but in the next video i'm actually going to show like dedicate specifically to what i eat how much can you lose on a fast this majorly depends on how much you have to lose like if you're over if you're not as fat then you don't need to lose a lot you're going to lose slowly and at some point you will go even like two three days without losing but if you're like if you have a lot of fat stored in your body you're going to lose a lot in a very short time and then when you have lost a lot then it's gonna slow down so usually you like when you're starting to lose sometimes you lose like two pounds during the first time two pounds one and a half and then it settles to one pound and then the 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 normal loss is half a pound a day so you can do those calculations so it, when it gets to a point where you're not losing or you are losing 100 grams a day uh just know that there's not a lot more uh fat stored in your body because your body is trying to utilize whatever it's left but when you start and you have a lot of fat to lose it's gonna go quickly so much quick quicker in the beginning another question is how i maintain weight loss i've talked about this and i actually have a dedicated video uh, on how i maintain the weight loss so i will attach that so targeted weight loss like you if you like you're trying to fast to lose like tummy fat and arm fat i don't think you can do that you cannot like fast and expect that the weight is going to come out from your tummy only in my previous video the one that i did before this one i have shown you how i have lost like my butt i would have chosen not to but it's a uh, collateral damage <laughs> so you will lose the whole body evenly like where there's a lot of fat they will that area will be targeted so say you have like bigger tummy that fat will be targeted first or that fat will will um be lost in big amounts than if you if say like your butt is small obviously you're going to see much difference from your tummy because that's where most of the fat was if that makes sense so no you cannot target but if your tummy is like really big meaning there's a lot more fat there so you're going to lose a lot of fat from there so you cannot like just target another question is somebody said they can't lose weight with intermittent fasting so i think your body uh adapts to something if you've been doing intermittent fasting for a very long time your body knows your body knows your mind knows that oh you always eat at this time and so even if you're hungry it's going to like wait not to touch the uh energy storage in your body which is the fat it's gonna wait not to touch it knowing that at this time you're going to eat so when it holds off burning that fat and then you don't eat that's when it actually burns that fat for energy but otherwise your body your body is your, your, your body or your mind your mind is smart so if you're doing the exact same thing and expecting uh, different results it's not gonna work like that so you need to switch things up like maybe uh, the intermittent fasting if you're doing like 18 6 switch it up to like one meal a day surprise the body um, or also like you know skip a day without eating and eat the next day that's alternative day fasting try to go past what you're used to doing extend that fast and see the difference so also if you're doing extended fast and uh, say you're doing like three day fasts and you're not losing it means you're doing that your body has gotten used to that and it's going to hold on to your fat storage and then you're going to not lose so you need to like extend it more than um three days or go back to doing OMAD, like switch things up so that like your body is not used to a uh, certain routine. I hope that answers you. 
another question what other drinks did you take so in summary i'm going to make a, an, a video dedicated to like safe drinks safe things to drink during fast but in summary you you can have uh things that do not have any calories so something like green tea does not have any calories obviously water doesn't so water is like a must but uh green tea does not have any calories and when i say green tea i don't mean like add sugar to it so it's like plain green tea uh coffee does not have any calories to it so you can have uh coffee and um what else while you're still fasting when you're still fasting say a prolonged fast if your goal is healing and you want to use the benefits of autophagy then you can't do this but if you have healed your body and your target is just like weight loss and you don't need the benefits of autophagy at that time you can have fats you can have fats uh during your fast because it's essential for the kidney if i'm wrong i'll correct myself in the description you need fats so you can add like butter to your coffee coconut oil to your coffee or whatever drink you're taking or uh, mct oil so you can have those fats because it helps uh your body uh yeah you it will they will not like say a teaspoonful is not gonna break your fast in any way and actually it's you, you'll still keep losing weight the only difference is uh autophagy stops at that point when you take the fat so another question is what apps do i use the main one that i use is my weight and there's life my weight is for the weight and there's also renfo like if you get the renfo uh, scale there's an um it, it comes with a, an app that connects to your phone and every time you step on it to weigh yourself it actually records the weight for you renfo is really good because it, it calculates your bmi your body mass your skeletal whatever your fat mass and and every, every like basically everything calculates that and you can read more it has much more information so i, I do use renfo and uh, uh life is for fasting to track the hours it actually shows you when your fat burning has started like when you hit those hours when your fat burning has started when you're in ketosis when you have started autophagy it shows you when you have hit those milestones so those are the apps that i used to use is it vora for fasting but i found that it it's not uh it was not very dedicated to like it was not informative it's just like yeah so i switched that up to to life and i love it the second last question is how to keep focused on fasting for long i will do a separate video on this because i want to talk about things in detail but in summary i'd like to say and i say this a lot it's mind over matter like you can tell your mind what to do and it will remember what you want to do and you can stay focused in what you want to do so this brings us to your why why do you want to fast why do you want to lose weight so if say i'm feeling fat and my confidence is down i want to boost that up i want to this 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 and that and you're convinced and you're dedicated that this is what you want to do like you can even have reminders around your house to like when you look at them it's a reminder that this is what you're doing right and you uh you can keep that focus and you will not be tempted some say oh i'm i I'm, I'm still cooking for the family and they find it hard to fast i i cook too i have a family i cook too but i do not get tempted at all it doesn't matter if you put my favorite food in front of me when i am focused to like fasting i nothing will convince me not to because i have put my mind and my focus on my goal that i want to hit this goal and this is why i am doing it so i you know discipline and they say discipline is the highest form of self-love if you love yourself so much you will be disciplined if you love yourself so much say you're sick and you, ha you want to heal some things in your body say you're fat and you would like to like you can choose discipline and that's how you show that you love yourself more than anything i always say this to myself food will always be there when even when we hit the pandemic in 2020 and everybody was grabbing whatever was on the shelves can you believe we still did not run out of food <laughs> which also means you can stay focused in your fast and hit your goal and then you can eat moderately those things that you really wanted to i hope i'm talking to someone now my last questions people ask oh judy i want you to help me do this do that uh, I, I want you to help me lose weight how can i lose weight can you please support me please help me 
I have never coached anyone before. I do not usually don't know how to respond to you guys. But uh, now that I've been asked that a lot, I'm going to consider maybe coaching if I can find a better platform where I can do the coaching. I can consider doing coaching uh, along the way I will give you updates if I decide to do it I know coaching someone is hectic it's time-consuming it needs dedication and discipline also from my side so I am going to give it a good consideration do some research and if you guys have um, resources on the best way to go about coaching and um, how I can go about it please let me know because I would like to help as many people as I can but I need the best or a working resource or platform that I can do that on like I cannot do it on YouTube so hope maybe do it through patreon I'll look into that and um, I will let you guys know so any other questions that I have forgotten to address, please ask them in the um, ask them in the comment section below because this video is all dedicated to questions, and I will answer answer all your questions. Like if you haven't noticed already, I do respond to all of my comments. Yeah, so feel free to ask, and I'll definitely respond to you to the best of my knowledge. So far, that's what we have for today. If you're fasting, I'm sending you good vibes and uh, keep at it, mind over matter. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.